let's take a look at the lesson Equivalent Coins 2. Choose the best answer. What is equal to three quarters? So we need to find out which one of these options are equal to three quarters. Well, I know that three quarters is 75 cents because when we count by 25, it goes 25, 50, 75, 100. So counting by 25 three times, 25, 50, 75, leaves us with 75. So I know that we're going to try and find the option that has 75 cents. So here we have two quarters, which I can tell 25, 50 is 50 cents, plus a nickel, plus eight pennies. So 50 plus a nickel, so plus five cents, will be 55. And then if we count on eight more from 55, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So I know that this one is 63 cents, so that is not the correct option. Here we have one quarter, so we are only counting by 25 one time, so we end on 25, plus three dimes, which is 30 cents, so 25 plus 30 is equal to 55. And then two nickels, because nickels are five cents each, that would be another 10 cents. So this would be equal to 65. So this is not the correct option either. Let's try this one. Here we have two quarters, so 25, 50 plus one dime, so we're adding 10 because a dime is worth 10 cents, so 50 plus 10 is 60, and then we would be adding three nickels, so we can count by fives three times, so we have our 60, then we would say 65, 70, 75, oh, that's three times, one, two, three, so we know we have 75 cents. Ah, and that is the same as three quarters, 75 cents. All right, this is our option. What is equal to four quarters? Let's count by 25s again because a quarter is 25 cents. 25, 50, 75, 100. So when we count by 25, four times, we end up with 100. And 100 cents is equal to a dollar. So this is one dollar. So which other one is equal to four quarters? Here we have two quarters, so 25, 50, and three dimes. Now I can count by 10 three times. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80. So now two nickels. So we are going to add five two times. So from 80, we'll add five. So 85, 90. And then if we add six pennies, if we have 90 plus six, we will get 96. So this is not equal to a dollar. All right. Here we have three quarters, one dime, two nickels, and five pennies. So I know if I count by 25 three times, 25, 50, 75, I will have 75. And then 10 more than that, because we're adding one dime, will be 85. And then two nickels. So we will count by five two times. So we have 85, 90, 95. And then we have five pennies. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That is what we had up here, 100, which is equal to $1, 100 cents is equal to $1. Great, so this looks like the correct option, but let's check this one. Here we have two quarters, so I know that is 50 cents, plus two dimes, so I will count by 10 twice, so 50, 60, 70, 
And then I will count by five once because of my nickel, so 70, 75, and then five pennies. So I know I'll be adding five more, so I can count by five one more time, so 75, 80. So I know that that is not enough. So this middle option is the correct one. So what is equal to four quarters, three quarters, one dime, two nickels, and five pennies? Here they ask, what is equal to four quarters? Well, we know four quarters is one dollar, or a hundred pennies. So down here we have the option two quarters, which is 50, plus three dimes, so we're going to count on 10 more three times, so 50, 60, 70, 80. Then we have one nickel, so we can count by five, so 80, 85, Great, and now we would add nine more pennies. But I can tell even if we added 10 to this number, it would be 95. So it would not yet be 100. So this is not the correct option. Here we have two quarters, two dimes, two nickels, and five pennies. So two quarters is 50. We count on two more dimes. We'd have 60, 70. We'd count by fives two times. We'd have 75, 80. And then we would add five pennies, which would be equal to 85. That is not the correct option either. Here we have three quarters, so I know it goes 25, 50, 75. Plus one dime would be 10 more than that, which is 85. Two nickels, we count by fives twice, so 85, 90, 95. And then we would add five more to 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So this is the correct option. 100 pennies is equal to $1, which is what we had up here. What is equal to four dimes? Well, I know that when I count by tens, I would get 10, 20, 30, 40. So each dime is worth 10 cents, so that is one, two, three, four dimes would be 40 cents. So let's see which one of these also is equal to 40. Here we have one quarter, which is 25. Two dimes, so we count by tens twice, 25, 35, 45, and then one nickel, so we would just count on by five once, 45, 50. Nope, that's a little bit too much. We need 40. Here we have one dime and two nickels. Well, I know a dime is 10, and each nickel is five more. So 10, 15, 20. Nope, that one's too little. All right, here we have one quarter and three nickels. So we have 25 for the quarter, and then we're going to count on five three times. So 25, 30, 35, 40. Ah, this one ended on 40, so this is the correct option. All right, what is equal to four dimes? So we found that counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, four dimes is 40 cents. So here we have two dimes and one penny. Well, I know my dimes are tens, so I can do two dimes, which is 10, 20, and then one penny is just one more, so 21. So that's not enough. Here we have one quarter and one nickel. 25 for one quarter, and then one nickel, we're just going to count on by five. 25, 30. Nope, not enough. What about here? One quarter, so 25 and three nickels. We will count on by fives three times. 25, 30, 35, 40. Ah, brilliant, okay. This one is correct. This one says, what is equal to nine dimes? I know that each dime is worth 10, so I'm going to count by 10 nine times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Notice how when I was counting how many tens I had, the number I was saying was also at the beginning of each ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dimes is 90 cents. All right, let's see what is equal to 90. Here we have one quarter, which is 25. Three dimes, so we're going to be counting on by 10 three times. So 25, 35, 45, 55, and then two nickels. So we will be counting on five two times. So we have 55, 60, 65, great. Now we have eight pennies. Well, I know 65 plus eight is 73. So that is not enough. Here we have two quarters, which is 50, plus three dimes, so we will count on 10 three times. So 50, 60, 70, 80, one nickel, so we'll count by fives one time. So 80, 85, and then five pennies. So I could count on five more. So 80, 85, 90. Oh, wonderful. So here's 90 and here's 90. So this should be the correct answer, but let's check our last one. Two quarters is 50 cents. Two dimes would be 60, 70. Two nickels, we would count by fives. 75, 80. And then 80 plus seven is 87. So it is not this one either. So it is this one. What is equal to three dimes? 10, 20, 30. So three dimes is 30 cents. Let's see. We have one dime, one nickel, and seven pennies. So one dime is 10. One nickel would be adding five to that, so that would be 15. And then seven pennies would be 22. So that is not the correct one. Here we have two nickels and seven pennies. Two nickels would be five, 10, those are my two nickels, and then seven more. So I know 10 plus seven is 17, so this is not the correct option. Let's try this one. Two dimes, so 10, 20, one nickel, so we'll count by fives over here. So 20, 25, good. And then five pennies. So since there are five, I can count on by five one more time. So we have 25, 30. Oh, brilliant, here it is. Great work, friends. What is equal to nine nickels? So I know that each nickel is worth five cents, so let's count by fives nine times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, 45 cents, let's see. One quarter and two dimes. Well, I know that one quarter is 25 cents and each dime I will be adding 10. So 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 10 is 45. Oh, here's 45. So this looks like the correct option, but let's keep checking. Three dimes, one nickel, and one penny. Three dimes is 30 cents. One nickel, we would be adding five to that, so that is 35 and one penny, we would just be adding one to that, so that is 36. So that one is not the correct one. Here we have one quarter, two dimes, and three pennies. So one quarter and two dimes, I already saw over here was 45, so one quarter, two dimes, and three pennies is going to be more. So that is not the correct option. It is one quarter and two dimes. What is equal to nine nickels? Well, I remember when we counted by fives nine times, we ended up with 45. I will count those out loud again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Nine nickels is 45 cents. So here we have three dimes, one nickel, and eight pennies. 
So three dimes I know is 30. One nickel is going to be five more cents, so that would be 35. And then eight pennies would be 43 because we add eight to 35. So that is not quite enough. Here we have three dimes, which is 30, plus two nickels, so we can count by fives twice. 35, 40. And then five pennies. Ah, so we could count by fives again. 40, 45. These answers match. So this is likely the correct answer. Let's check this one as well. Two dimes is 20 cents. Then we can count by fives two times because we have two nickels. So 20, 25, 30, and then we have nine more. So that is 39. Great. So that one is not it. We know that it is the middle one. What is equal to four nickels? Well, let's count by fives four times. Five, 10, 15, 20. So there, one, two, three, four. So four nickels is equal to 20 cents. So let's see which other one is equal to 20 cents. Well, I can see here that three dimes is 30 cents. So that is already too high. I don't need to add the other ones. I know that one quarter is also more than 20. It is 25. So I don't even need to add this because I know this one's too high as well. And then two dimes I know is 20 cents because if we count by tens twice, it is 10, 20. So this is the correct option. Amazing job today, friends.